Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our Monday 15 minutes podcast. Remember, we started this series of teaching on Monday two weeks ago. This is our third week on the subject investment. How to make a fortune. Thank you so much for following us in this series. I'm trying to whet your appetite and to stir up your blood. Now what God wants us, according to the parable in Matthew 25, 14, now Matthew 25, 14 to 30, is to become businessmen who goes into investment so that we can double our income as believers. I told you it is not true that the Bible did not teach us about how to make money. It does. And that's what I've been teaching in the past two weeks. So please go over my YouTube channel again and then you'll be able to follow us in today's episode. Remember the series is investment, how to make a fortune. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to beg your indulgence that please subscribe to my YouTube channel by pressing on subscription. Then you will see a bell comes out. When you press on subscribe, a bell will come out. Press on the bell. It's very important that you press on the bell because every time the podcast is ready, YouTube will always send you a notification so that you will know that you need to follow us in the series of teaching. So, I will continue where I left last week Friday. Last week Friday, I was telling, I said, if you want fortune with that responsibility, I think you should then consider investment. And I said, being a professional or having a job is a lot of responsibility. And I told you that you need to understand the difference between investment and a job. Now, not keeping job with government does not mean that you are not having a job. A doctor was a clinic of his own where he has invested money to buy beds, uh, bought property, but rule reports to the clinic every day is keeping a job. It's not keeping an investment. It's keeping a job. Until he can begin to employ people, he can employ doctors who can do what he's doing without him reporting in his clinic. Until you bring the clinic to that level, you don't have investment yet. What you have is a job. So you must work hard and then convert your clinic to an investment by employing other doctors who can do what you can do. That when you are not in the clinic, your income, your turnover is on. That is investment. A job is a place where you report to work every day. So if a doctor is sick, his income is sick. If a doctor will have to travel on a long journey, then his clinic will close down. Because there has to be doctors in your clinic. So you see, so you must upgrade your clinic to become an investment. To become an investment. So that's why I gave an example that a good example of a business, of an investment from the one is bakery you have a bakery where you employ people to bake now they walk around the clock and bake bread and bake cake and then the bread and the cake is marketed and then there's a turnover so they pay their own salary and pay your own salary at the same time so you see you don't have any responsibility than to go there and pick up your paycheck every time. That is investment. So investment takes responsibility out of your life. But jobs give you a responsibility. Professionalism gives you a responsibility. As a professional, you think of how to pay people under you. You think of how to pay your contractors. Professionalism gives you responsibility. But do you know what? Investment takes responsibility out of your life. So let's continue. If your option is financial security and not financial independence, 
or financial freedom, then keep your job. So I need to explain to you the difference and then how you can maximize your investment. Yes, you are more secured with a salary that comes every month than owning a business. You know, you know, if you have a salary, you don't worry about security. Your money comes in every month. Whether there's sales in the bakery or there's no sales in the bakery. Whether patients were in the clinic or patients were not in the clinic. At every month end, your salary is secured. If that's what you want for your life, then keep your job. But if you desire financial freedom or financial independence, then you have to think of business. So let me explain it. Yes, you are more secure with a salary that comes every month than owning a business. There is no risk to take as a salary earner. Like the third servant avoided risking his boss's money in investment in that Matthew 25 because there is risk involved in investment. So I must let you know at this point. Then the one who had Matthew 25, 24, then the one who had entrusted who had been entrusted with 1,000 gold coins, came to his master and said, Look, sir, I know that you are a hard man to please, and you are a shrewd and ruthless businessman who grows rich on the backs of others. I was afraid of you, so I went and hid your money and buried it in the ground. But here it is. Take it. It's yours. Investing your money with the bankers, as his boss suggested, in that verse 27. Why didn't you deposit my money in the bank at least i could have gotten some interest on it comes with some measures of risk too but with the least possible risk and least profit too as well but definitely not with that risk did you get that so his boss was telling him that look if security is your concern do you know what you can minimize it how give your money to the bankers so the bankers take all the risk the bankers take all the risk. Then at the end of the month, they will give you something on your, on your savings account. But almost very insignificant. Why? Because the risk you took was also very small. So you see, so the bigger the risk, the bigger the interest. The smaller the risk, the smaller the interest. So that is that is one of the character of investment bigger risk bigger turnover but little risk little turnover but if what you want in life is financial security then keep your job until the day you are 70 something and then they retire you and then at your retirement they will be giving you some stipends also so in that case job is better than investment but if you are interested in having financial independent your best option is investment you want financial investment and financial freedom then your best bet is investment most retired people cannot write a check and have it honored few months after their retirement because what they have is financial security any money any monthly salary from a job or profession and not finan I mean, and not financial independence. So that's why they kept job for that those number of years. So that is an advantage of a secure job over an investment. You will keep enjoying incomes from your investment for a lifetime and leave it behind for your children when you die, but not your salary. Did you see that? Now that is where invested now have another advantage over a job that has a secured salary so most people stay with job all the days of their lives because of financial security which is okay but you see know what but soon after their retirement they can write some check and they will be honored 
They can write some check and to be honored. But you see, when you have an investment and you are growing your investment, your check doesn't decrease. There's a high possibility that it will increase. So you always write check even at your old age and it will still be honored. And do you know what? At the, at the end of your life, your children can continue picking up your check sleeve from your investment when you are dead. But do you know what? Your children cannot keep picking your salary after you are gone. So which one do you prefer? Investment, financial freedom, or financial security? So you cannot pass over your salary or job to your children after you are old and retired from a job or profession. But your children can inherit your investment when you die. When you die. So you see, investment is still better than salary, which comes with financial security. So financial freedom, when you have turned that clinic to become an investment, even at old age, you are still picking your check. When you even die, your children keep picking your check from the clinic that you have turned to an investment or from a bakery. So the best security you can have is not salary, but multiple investment in different things, different locations and nations. The best form of financial security on the long run is still to be financially independent and true investment. Now, this is what I'm saying by that. This is what I mean by that. Investment can still become a better security than secured salary. Now, most people are afraid. Okay, if my investment fails, do you know what? Invest into different things. Invest into school. Invest into bakery. Invest into electronics. You have different investments. Do you know what? Don't invest into one in one city. Invest into about two different cities. Probably you invest in this city into bakery. You invest into electronic into another city. You invest into another thing into another city. Do you know what? If there's a calamity in this city and it affected your investment, your investment are secured in the other two cities. In fact, if possible, you can invest in different countries. You have investment in Togo. You have investment in Nigeria. And then you have investment probably in another country. So if something happened in this country, your investment... So the best security is to diversify your investment. So at the long run, business or investment is still a better financial security than any salary. God bless you. I'm out of time. And I will see you in our Wednesday 15 minutes podcast. For me here, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord.